obviously we do get diverse lineups here, and usually I always do book comedians, but tonight I thought let's do things a bit differently. So uh, the, the, the first opening act of this section is actually a poet. Yeah. 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 I just thought, you know, we've got academics Fantastic. in the room, we've got posh, posh bastards. So uh, yeah, you know, what better place came to the, than to bring uh, the world's most favourite poet, Edgar Casper, to the stage. Now before he comes, just do one last check of how loud we can cheer for him. streets of Cambridge and I am here today, thank you, I'm here today to read you some rhymes from my new book. It's taken me three years to write and I'm going to read it to you tonight in its entirety. Oh, what a treat. It's called a treat called rhymes. Now, we've all heard of nursery rhymes like Humpty Dumpty, Three Blind Mice. Brilliant, brilliant rhymes, but what happened in the events before these rhymes took place? Good question, Edgar. <laughs> so I took it upon myself to go online and gather some research to create these 100% accurate treatment rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> the first rhyme I'd like to read to you tonight is the prequel to Humpty Dumpty, cleverly entitled Humpty Dumpty Part Un. <laughs> <laughs> Humpty Dumpty was fed up with life. Humpty Dumpty just boiled his wife. <laughs> now, all alone, he cries and he cries. I'll make an attempt at my own suicide. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> As you just heard, that rhyme was quite dark, and from the research I gathered, it turns out that Humpty's depression started when he found out his wife was getting fingered by soldiers. <laughs> uh, hello there, hi. Uh, you are yeah, very okay. attractive. No, the lady behind you. You are a very <laughs> attractive lady. And I would very much like to um, dedicate this next rhyme to you as a tribute to your beauty. But what's your name? Esther. <laughs> it's a prequel to Free Blind Mice. <laughs> Free masturbating mice. <laughs> Free masturbating mice. See how they strum, see how they strum. <laughs> they all strum over the farmer's wife who stabs their eyes in a card and I thought this is the risk. Oh, they're kinky night life. <laughs> Three masturbating, but now mainly using their imaginations because they are that blind mice. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, Sarah. Over there. I, I, I couldn't, couldn't help but notice you weren't, you weren't clapping. Do you not appreciate poetry? <laughs> you are clapping. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the light, so I apologize. Um, many people have said to me, Edgar. 
You are like a poetical angel sent from the heavens to educate the poor and the uneducated about the wonders of poetry. So as a treat for you, sir, <laughs> I'd like to improvise a rhyme. All I require is your name and leave the magic to me. Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Prepare to be blown away, Carl. <laughs> there was a man called Carl sat on the chair. A chair that happens to be located over there. <laughs> He's in a room with lots of people in it that are having fun with a, a pilot. Um, I like your hair. It looks really cool. These light bulbs are like little balls. <laughs> Thank you very much, Carl. I hope that's opened your eyes to the marvellous world. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. My third and final rhyme. Yes, there are only three rhymes. It's all about the quality of the rhyme, not the quantity. <laughs> this is the prequel to Little Baby Peep, entitled Old Man Baby Peep. Pop, I'd put your drinks down. It's quite, quite strong. <laughs> Old man Bo Peep molested his sheep <laughs> and didn't use lubrication. He did it at night and not his daughter did fright for this kind of act has no explanation. <laughs> Little Bo Peep by now fast asleep was oblivious to the sheep's bleating. For once they've been fucked, tickled and sucked, they suffered a severe bloody beating. <laughs> One sheep said, hey, let's all run away to a land where we want to be raped. <laughs> the very next morning, as Bo Peep was yawning, she noticed that her sheep had escaped. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> now, I've written that in a way so it seamlessly blends into the original rhyme, which little Bo Peep retrieves her sheep. Oh, maybe that's not. Such a good thing. Um, <laughs> anyways, I shall be reading my rhymes again at the Cambridge Primary School next Monday, so if anyone wants to come along and uh, listen to some, do pop along. Adults, welcome. Uh, wh what's that I hear? Does someone say encore? <laughs> Poet. Oh, I ruined that. As well as being a world-class poet, I'm also a world-class rapper because that is the goal. I don't want to burn that. Of every poet out there to become the next 50 Cent. So as a treat for you all tonight, Cambridge, I'd very much like to perform my rap. Just we've got to wait for the beat to kick in. Name it up. When I say Edgar, you say Casper. Edgar. Casper. Edgar. Casper. Edgar. 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 Casper. 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 I'm the illest rapper on the mic. You may have seen me riding my bike. I'll pick up Penny Farvin. I stole it. From Stephen Hawking. <laughs> when I say illest rapper, it don't mean I'm good, I've got a cold. And it's spreading round the hood of Cambridge. I'm coming straight out of Cambridge, bitch. My nan thinks I'm a good boy, she's always putting my sweets. I wanted to set the record straight so I played her one of my beats, now she hates me. Nanny hates me. I used to live with my mom and dad at 32. My homie said that was sad. So I swear my mom, I swear my dad. I swear so much people know that I'm bad. A real sick wigger with a desire to rhyme. If I wasn't a poet, then I'd be doing time. 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 <laughs> 
I'm an EMC, bitch, but I'm not square. I'll go to the shop with curlers in my hair. I'll buy the sun and a hubba bubba too. And if I see you in line, then I'm cutting my cue. <laughs> it goes bad. Don't think I'm bad. I've got a homie out there looking after my machine gun. That's right, I have a machine gun. Don't worry, ladies, I only fire blanks. I'm a graffiti correction, I'm here on the straight up. If your tags misspelled, I'll correct it later with a cop. Or oh, I'm Nazi swastika, don't work mark with me, cause I'm a hard The people of Cambridge, they know my name, it's no big deal. Cause I can handle the fame. I'll be gangsters high when they see me cruising, cause they know. They just know. Yo, I cruise around in police cars, pointing out criminals. I'll spit this next verse backwards, cause I'm all about subliminals. I watch me up by my book. I watch me up by my book. Thank you very much, Cambridge. My name is David Hansen. It's been fantastic. Have a nice evening. Just gonna summon I had to leave before I could watch it.